Now we've got two amazing chefs in the Beko kitchen, as we say, Jababwe to Chef Paul again, and Mark, mm -hmm. of course. What are we doing today, Paul? Um, we're doing a braised beef um, noodle soup. Excellent. I'm, I feel like I can smell something already. Is oh, the star anise? It's wafting over to me, so I'm very much looking forward to, to that. What are we going to do to get to to kind of put this all together? We'll, we'll obviously get into it a little bit later on, but this is another classic Taiwanese dish, is it? That's correct. Excellent. Um, very well known. Um, yeah. Fantastic. If you ask all the Taiwanese, I'll tell you about it. Are you going to do any cooking today, Mark? Or are you just going to? No, stand I'm, and watch? I'm back on the stove today. You're getting back on the stove. around, yeah. So, well, I'm excited. I mean, look at that big slab of beef there. Love a big slab of meat. You got some noodles in there as well, and this massive array of incredible spices as well. Uh, what else have we got in here? Spring onion. Is that bok choy? Uh, yep, that's it. Bok yeah. choy, Excellent. pickled cabbage over there. Yum. More chilies, Szechuan pepper, star anise, Hello. cinnamon, garlic, ginger. It's going to be great. And a bit of coriander because Jesse is not here at the moment, <laughs> and we know how he feels about that. We're going to get the full recipe from Mark and Paul later on in the show. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen again, Paul Jababwe, as we celebrate the fabulous cuisine of Taiwan and what this amazing country has to offer. And I see that you started without me, which is OK. I'll forgive you for that <laughs> because it smells really, really good. So, Paul, just remind us again, what are we cooking today? Um, it's a brave um, beef noodle soup. Yep. Yeah. And so we've started by putting what in the pan here? Right, so we've got the uh, same as what we did yesterday. We've got the ginger, the nice slices yep. of ginger, and we've got some spring onion, and we've got some garlic cloves, whole cloves again, and we've just sort of caramelised that off about sort of, it's been about 10 minutes in the pan on a nice heat. You can start to see, it's getting a nice bit of colour, it's softening, but all those aromas um, are all coming out now. And then we're going to start adding um, lots of ingredients into that. So right. we're just speeding the process. Paul, is that kind of a typical base for a lot of Taiwanese food, the, the ginger going in first and the, the spring onions and stuff like that? Is that a qu quite a typical flavour? Yes, it is. It gives, um, so what it is is it releases the flavour from the ginger right into the oil, so it actually intensifies the flavour. Great. And what yeah. have you got going on down here? What are you chopping up? I'm actually cutting up um, the pickled um, cabbage. That gives us another flavour, I guess. What would you describe yep. that taste like? Slightly sour, right. Swedish a little bit. And so it's going to be a garnish for the soup when we, okay. when we build it a little bit later. Great. So these are frying off in here. Paul's chopping up the cabbage. What else have we got to get done? Right, so we're going to fry the cabbage off in a sec. This is all right. ready to go in? Yep, right. ready to go so in. So we've got tomatoes in there, onions, some onions. in here. Now notice that there's quite rustic sort of chopping with these. You've been quite careful with some of them, but they're quite big pieces. <laughs> yep, that's good. Rustic. Rustic, oh, it's, it's the word, isn't it? Rustic. No, it's good, but we're, we're actually, so we're going to braise the beef and, and the actual liquor from the beef and the stock with all that flavour in it is going to be the soup for the noodles, you know? So, so when it... We're going, to, we're going to strain this out after anyway, aren't we? So, yes, so it's we just will, for the flavour now, so you don't need to, you know, cut it small or anything, or, okay. you know, it's just purely to so add Paul's, depth of flavour. Paul's grabbed the meat. Paul, uh, what sort of meat have we got going on um, here? This is uh, beef, beef ribs. Right. And is there a reason for choosing that? Um, it's got a nice um, fat running through and also it still has the bone on it, mm. which um, it gives, um, gives it a lot of flavour. Look at that nice chunk Ooh. of there. Uh, beef on there as well. Yeah, cooking it on the bone as well, so you, you know, you're getting those beautiful um, beefy uh, tones in there right. for the stock. So we're talking about the food of Taiwan, but of course, Paul, you, remind us, you are off to Luxembourg. Uh, what is that? I'm actually going to be competing in fruit and vegetable carving um, in Luxembourg. Yep. Which I've got a great master chef, um, Jeff, who, which will be training me for that. And you and Jeff have yep. worked on the carvings that we can see behind us in the Beko kitchen today. That's all. Um, it's incredible to think that some of the melon um, has taken, you know, two hours to carve. The taro carving that we can see, that lovely carving of mel, uh, took a week. So there's some intense stuff goes into some of the finer things of Taiwanese cooking, right, Paul? But as you've proven yeah. here, it can be quite simple as well and quite quick. That's correct. Yeah. What else is going in here now? Right, now we've got some sugar. Yep. Yum. So the same as yesterday, sugar goes in. What is that? That is chilli bean paste. Oh, OK. Yeah. It'd be fair to say it doesn't look overly appealing in its raw state, but I'm sure <laughs> it will contribute quite nicely to the dish. OK, so just stirring off. And again, the sugar is for the caramelising. Yeah, yeah. my favourite so, words this week. So get the sugar in there, you know, get it into a caramel, get that deep colour and it will bring out all the flavour. Right. And you'll lose that sort of um, extra sweetness. Mm -hmm. right, again, that's smelling really good. So we've got the cabbage going off in there. Paul's cut up the meat. Uh, what else? So we've got the star anise, is it? Right, star anise goes in, bay leaves go in. Right. Szechuan pepper. 
uh, corns in there so it gets beautiful sort right. of. Paul and Mark, what do we need to do to finish this braised beef noodle soup? All right, now it's beef time. So we've got the beef, it's been taken off the bone, nice strips mm. that goes in. All right, and the bones as well. This is like a religious experience with the smells coming out of here. And it, yeah, it's all about putting the ingredients in, cooking them, extracting as much flavour as you can. I mean, look at that. Now we're going to put some um, soy sauce in there. Great. And that's going to be our braising liquor. So you, well, we're making a master stock. Yeah. So Taipei, right, obviously water. the biggest city in Taiwan. Paul, what do you love about Taipei? Um, it's very international. Yeah. And you get to see a lot of a um, lot of street food and a lot of things um, happening in a very busy city. Do you cook like this at home? You know, will you just sort of come home? I know you do, you obviously cook a lot, <laughs> but do you come home and go, I, wanna, I want to feel like I'm at home, I'll, I'll throw something like this on? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I guess because yeah. it's easy, or, or you make it look so easy, that you can do that kind of midweek. Yes, you so. Too. How did, how, what is your um, experience with Kiwis embracing Taiwanese cuisine been like since you've been here? Do you, are we a nation that loves it? I think so. Um, I think um, Kiwi do actually quite like um, Taiwanese kind of cuisine. Mm. What's going on here, Mark? You've just put right. the noodles in the So water. we've just got some noodles, so we'll, we'll come into the crunch time. So obviously this is going to take about an hour, hour and a half. Yep. Bring it up to the boil, turn it down, lid on, and this is what you're left with. Look at that. I mean, look at the colour of the, the stock there, the meat. Oh. You know, you just press it. Full of flavour, you know, it's just <sighs> soft, tender, amazing. Have we got one hob left? I don't think we actually do. No. There's a lot going <laughs> on today. Okay, right. so what are you doing now? Just straining the beef out. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take all the meat off. Yep. And then that's going to go into our soup. Mm. We've got the cabbage there, which we've been frying, so it's dried out. Yep. It's taken a little bit of colour on. You know, that is packed full of flavour. We can strain this master stock here. Mm. And then we've got a little bit of beef stock, haven't we, here, which we're just yep. warming up. And we're going to use the master stock to flavour the beef stock and make this, you know, broth. This full of flavour oh. broth. Noodles yeah. are cooking. Cabbage is there. We've got some bok choy to put in. It's, it's very busy. I'm pleased it's not just you and I because I would have had the soup halfway across the floor. The cabbage would have been burnt. My hair would have been on fire or what's left of it anyway. So, okay, so that's all happening. That, is, in theory, is done. So we're by the magic yeah. of television or, and the, or the and, magic and of And this port. is what we've got. And just remind me again, so those noodles are in there. How long would yeah. you generally pop them in? So for? boiling water, sort of lightly seasoned, then probably like two minutes or so. Yep. Okay. That, what you know, sort of maybe noodles are they? Um, this is a uh, fresh noodle. Right. So basically just flour, salt and water. Right. Yeah. And just remind me again, this beef here, how long d does it take for it to get from this stage to this stage? Probably what, a good, good hour and a half? Yeah, an hour and a half. Yeah. Okay, so it is something that you would need to pop on and think about in advance, but certainly with the smells and the, the warmth that's coming from that, it is just incredible as you keep straining that off. I'm really resisting the urge not to jam my <laughs> fingers in there and throw some in my mouth, but I'd get sp spanked by someone, I'm sure. So we're very much looking forward to this all coming together, and I'm going to have to fight Mal off. I can see her over there eyeing up, giving this meal the glad eye, so that's not going to be a case because I'm going to eat it all. It is very delicious. <laughs> and, of course, the recipe is on our website, thecafe.co.nz. And today's Taiwanese dish is inspired by the country's vibrant capital city, which is Taipei, we were just talking about. The skyline dominated by one of the world's tallest buildings. We can see Debbie there with, uh, with the crew when she went over there a couple of years ago. It's called Taipei 101. I think I'd have to take a couple of something, have a couple of Fantas before I went up there because I'm a bit scared of heights, but it looks gorgeous. We do recommend you take the fast elevator to the viewing deck where you can see in every direction for miles, then spend a few hours checking out the world's top designers in Taipei 101's multi-level high-end shopping mall. Then of course when you're hungry, which is pretty much all the time for me, you can enjoy the world-renowned dumplings at Din Tai Fung. Of course, Taipei is also home to the world's largest collection of Chinese artefacts at the National Palace Museum. And it's so easy to get around. It's got that ultra-modern underground system. It is a must-see on your tour of Taiwan. For more information, you can check out the website below, eng.taiwan.net.tw. It is beef noodle soup time. It is smelling incredible. So, Mark and Paul, how's it looking? Wow, look at that. We've plated it all. We've got the noodles in there. You've got the broth, the cabbage, mm. the meat, the bok choy. And we're just going to finish it with a little bit of coriander. Look at that. That is my uh, lunch sorted. Bring it over. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, that's Hello. my lunch sorted. What about yours? Oh, we'll be fighting over this one. Yeah, um, what is on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow on the menu we have got golden fried prawns with Jeff.